Blackpink's Rosé. As the only Gen 3 K-pop star appearing at Met Gala 2021, Rosé is now the pride of not only Blinks, but the entire entertainment industry as a whole. The thing is, while the stylists should have given it their all to make Rosé shining at her best, they somehow made her appear in the most confusing makeup and the lamest, utmost irrelevant outfit, considering the American independent theme of the event. As pointed out by netizens, the romper was recycled from another photo shoot. The black eyeliner was completely irrelevant to the light Korean-esque makeup, and the hairstyle was also too basic for the Met Gala. The whole thing was such a disappointment that right after photos of Rosé got uploaded, multiple posts on different platforms mushroom just to rant about how terrible the taste of YSL stylists is. Basically, netizens couldn't stop whining about how the Cordies made her look as if a terrible sickness had just sucked out all of her liveliness. The weird eyeliner trend on her only scared people when looking up close, and the overbleached brassy hair was really the final touch that knocked out her stunning visual. Stacey's Yoon Despite being the magnet of the group, Yoon is actually one of the most famous members in Stacey, with her surreal Barbie visuals and model standard figure. The funniest thing is that while the stylist could have leveraged that strength and made her the finest bird with the finest feathers, they somehow decided to turn Yoon into a hot mess in Stacey's latest comeback. Even when you take the be yourself and stop judging others concept into consideration, this style still made no sense because there were actually millions of ways to show off Yoon's color without having to throw tons of colors onto her like that. The first and also the worst thing that netizens hated out of the whole look was her colored bangs. Probably because dyeing the end of the hair is quite common, the stylist took it a step further and dyed the end of her bangs as well. What's even worse is that, as the temporary hair dye chalks were carelessly applied and the layers also seemed to be randomly cut, Yoon's hair unfortunately didn't look creative, but more like some brassy witch brooms that had been used for years. Besides that funny hairstyle, netizens also felt that the stylist had done way too much with the outfit. As if throwing a bunch of color on her hair was not enough, the Cordies also made her wear a plaid uniform, with tons of contrasting color patches sewn together. Actually, it's not even close to say Yoon was wearing a plaid uniform as considering how they even layered underneath another checkered skirt and a white shirt that was already cut into two, it's probably more correct to say she was wearing a patched apron for this premiere. It sees Yechi. It seems like experimenting with exotic styles is now a trend for many pretty faces of girl groups. Because in the photo teaser of Itzy's latest comeback, netizens were also scared to death by the look of Yechi. In fact, People have already noticed how Yechi had to suffer from the so-called experimental stylings of Itzy's Cordies ever since day one. But as time goes by, they really feel the urge to raise their voice, because everything is rapidly turning for the worse. Apparently, neutral has been a rising trend for the past years, but going the extra mile to put multiple patterns of the 90s into one dress, which legit looks like lingerie, and then layering underneath a pair of see-through, eye-confusing tights, did nothing but assault the eyes of people. Basically, the whole look was so weird that netizens believed the impeccable visuals of Yechi still couldn't save it. Many people said the Cordies were for sure Yechi's anti-fans in disguise, and there must be some scary ulterior motives behind her weird fits. Even when they were well aware this was just an experimental style highlighting the color of the comeback, it was still way too peasant and irrelevant to the girl crush image of Itzy. Espa's Karina and Giselle while Espa's image is always attached with things that are out of this world, the stylists have seemingly gone way overboard with the fits of Karina and Giselle when they appeared on The Pop magazine. Maybe some of you may defend that these fits were just as innovative as the AI avatar concept of Espa, and maybe you're right because there's no fixed definition of a good aesthetic. But the fact that many netizens immediately threw hands at Espa's stylist after these photos were published still says a lot about how these stylings were way far from being fancy or fabulous. Since South Korea only has two kinds of weather, cold and super cold, it completely made sense to see the stylists passionately promote these heavy fur jackets through Karina and Giselle's influences. However, it seems like all they did was to create a real hot mess by mixing these luxury fur jackets with a bunch of confusing items. First, let's take a look at Karina. While she looked like a legit winter warrior from the belly up, with the platinum highlight hairstyle and the sharp bold makeup that perfectly complemented the wild, powerful vibe of the camel fur vest, 
the rest of the look would for sure freak you out with the weird color and material combinations. All of a sudden, the stylist just put her in a plain black miniskirt. And probably out of fear that people wouldn't know Espa was Givenchy's ambassador, they forcefully layered it with red leggings embedded with the Givenchy logo and their signature chunky boots. Then things were just as bad for Giselle. Or actually even worse, because firstly, she literally swam in that faux fur jacket, and second, her outfit looked even more all over the place than Karina's. While the runway styling of this set was like chef's kiss, Espa's stylist didn't seem to understand how the model's figure and Giselle's were different, and that they should have done some fitting beforehand to make suitable adjustments. Also, for this negligent attitude, Giselle suddenly looked short and bulky, despite having the longest legs out of the four members. Netizens also found the see-through skirt confusing and pretty much like a try-hard element put there to make the look more innovative, but ending up shattering everything apart. Some even compared Giselle with a white polar bear in the North Pole. Espa's Ning Ning With the inherent pushing the bar spirit embedded in everything Espa does, it's quite easy for their stylists to throw every eccentric fit on the girls and justify how they were just being innovative. However, even with that logic, Netizen still couldn't get over how peasant and outdated this costume of Ningning was, when Espa attended KBS Song Festival in 2020. Yes, I admit that it's generally hard to comprehend the sequin and feather styles of all Espa members on that stage. But looking at the design of the fits alone, you'll see how the stylist really had no sense of Ningning's figure, and made her wear a costume that not only distorted her body proportions, but also made her look way too 2007. Instead of emitting an elegant vibe as the combo of sequin and feathers intended to, Ningning Ning instead looked more like an ancient winter warrior about to go on the battlefield. While the other members were all dressed in flattering designs that highlighted their skinny figures, Ningning Ning was somehow made to wear an outdated robe. As if that wasn't bad enough, the stylist even tied a bow out of a thin black string around her waist, which also did nothing but add weight to her figure. Everglow's Asha most K-pop idols will try to go for their best stage outfits during their debut era to attract good public reactions. Interestingly, this didn't seem to be the case with Asha, because instead of dressing her in the outfit perfectly blending two girly and badass elements like the rest of the group, the stylist made her look like she had just had a street fight right before the stage. First, let's talk about the materials. As pointed out by a netizen who has been frequently going swimming, the main material used for Asha's costume was a type of real cheap polyester fabric that is often used for swimming suits. You see how light is reflected by her costume, how this is actually a one-piece design, and how there was also a zip often seen at the back of many swimming suits? If that wasn't legit bought from a swimwear store, then I honestly think it was a big lie. As if that wasn't negligent enough, the stylist even made things worse by sewing a piece of tie-dyed ruffle blue cloth into the swimming suit and wrapping around Asha's waist, something that looked like nothing more than a seatbelt. Plus, do you see how the belt really looked like it was trying desperately to hold on to the last piece of that blue cloth? Many netizens have noticed these funny details and claimed that there could only be two cases leading to this beggar outfit of Asha. One, the Cordys were her anti-fans. And two, the stylists were all discharged from fashion school, but managed to fake the certificates to get into Yuhua Entertainment. So, of all these six unfortunate times that pretty idols were turned into hot messes by some funny fashion senses, which one do you think is the worst? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting content. Thank you for watching.